Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I want to start off with a light workers message for you guys, okay? So it's coming from the light workers oracle deck, and of course, my goal is to help you to evolve, all right, especially on your spiritual journey, okay? Majority of you have definitely said, you know, I accept the call because you heard it, right? So we're we are all working to ascend, okay, and to rise up into a higher level of consciousness. Um, to help other people, to walk in our life purpose. It's like we're here on this journey, right? We showing up every single day, okay? So I figured, let me do the light workers message here, all right? Let's see what spirit wants you to know about your journey um, as well because we always getting into the gossip and all that other shit and why somebody feels some way and however, okay? Let's get into the nitty gritty of why spirit has called us to rise up. All right, now um, I'm gonna set my intentions and don't forget, you guys, flip the roles, take only what you need, leave the rest, use the spirit of discernment, don't force nothing to fit. If you are triggered by anything I say in this message, I encourage you to face your mirror, of course, because why I am here to guide you to the light, right? I'm here to help your soul evolve, okay, and hopefully for you to manifest the best life that you desire for yourself, right? Because, of course, um, as being spiritually gifted people, we have experienced such traumatic past, right? <sighs> Especially when it comes to relationships, y'all, all right? But however, the reason why we have gone through these things is because we're here to teach about love. So love of self and love of others, we're here to shine our light. And through these experiences, it gives us a story to tell. And it also helps us to be able to connect to other people, our collectives. Okay, so we all have a collective of people that we're here to guide and to help. And as you guys know, I am, um, I call myself the Oracle Goddess, but... My foundation is the Light Workers Society. Okay, so I am the lighthouse for light workers. I do encourage you to go to my Instagram and follow me there. It's at the Light Workers Society, y'all. Um, uh, make sure you use discernment because I got uh, tons of Doppler gangers out here. Okay, tons of them that are trying to duplicate me. I have over nine thousand posts or something like. If it's something that say like 30 something posts, that ain't me. Okay, honeys. But make sure you just thoroughly go through the pages and stuff like that just to see. Um, also, I keep the link in the detail box below this video. Also, ask that you check out the detail box below this video because they got a lot of information down there that could be useful for you. And especially when it comes to getting a personal reading from me as well. Um, if you have purchased one for me, I ask you, please check your emails, y'all. Some of you are purchasing um, the intuitive readings where you can get a question for like $5 or you know, one question, $5, two questions, $10, three questions, $15. Like I need to be able to get your questions. So I have emailed you guys, but I'm not getting a response back. And um, I have had some people actually buy readings and I don't like the whole readings over four days. It starts to really just kind of like get under my skin because I feel like I'm not doing my part. Okay. So help a sister out. All right. I'm a Virgo too. So y'all already understand what I'm going through. Okay, so thank you so much for responding. I ask that you guys hit the like button. I ask that you guys hit the um, subscribe button, the thanks button if you're feeling my vibe. Um, and if you're feeling generous, y'all, thank you so much for everybody who has donated to my channel. Um, I can't see them, but uh, for some odd reason, I was going through YouTube on, you know, the computer and I was able to actually see somebody who actually donated like who hit the thanks button and it showed me the name and everything but i couldn't see like the rest okay so i know youtube is still in beta and they're trying to figure out how to make things you know work and shake but however i'm i'm verbally telling you guys that i am grateful okay so thank you so much now um let me set my intentions thank you holy spirit thank you angelic guys for helping me with virgo's reading Protect us as we go through these portals to commune with you. Thank you for helping me to deliver a message for Virgo's highest good. I ask that my true guides are here with me, protecting my energy, my throat chakra, and all that's surrounding me, my space. And so it is. So the card I got is Soul Child, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm going to bring it a little closer. The number on that card is 14. 
And when we break that number down, we get what? Five. <laughs> Five is about changes. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Five is about sudden changes. It's about, um, hold on, I want to get it down. All right, so the number five speaks of, it announces change and acceleration. It's saying that an issue could be resolved. Transformation is happening through divine alchemy. And if you see the number five, it's about letting go. So allow what is happening to happen. Trust in the goodness behind all unfolding in your life. Everything is happening for a reason is basically how I'm saying it, right? Things are, are, are actually speeding up too. So, but when it comes to this soul child, I definitely feel like I, it just came back to my mind. So I'm going to say it again. Things are speeding up. Okay. Whatever it is that you feel like it's stagnant or delayed it's speeding up it's your hope and your faith that is helping this to do this okay so if you are weary and your faith is low honey it seems like you may be the problem psych y'all but it seems like you may be the den denominating factor on the delays okay so the more and more that you heal and you go through your ascension process, your spiritual training, things like that, honey, the universe co-creates with you and quickly. All right. So with the soul child card, it says rebirth is upon you. Beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for new life and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle, of intense inner work and physical transformation. It has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. You have undergone the death of the old order. Nothing is added as it was, nor will it be again. You have had to learn detachment, to release and let go over and over again. In so many ways, you have experienced inner death as you have barely surrendered that which no longer serves your growth this lifetime. Even if you once lived it dearly or couldn't imagine life without it. Deep inside, through that process, your soul has begun gathering energy. It has been drawing it away from the old forms of your life and relationships, from your old beliefs about health, finances, work, and from what used to hold meaning for you. It has done so in order to feed the new soul child being carried within your body. This new you is filled with divine light, love, and power. Your inner soul child, this newly integrated self, is preparing for birth now. From that which is no longer, something new is now being born. You are ready for the next cycle or phase of your life, Virgo. Even if like a newborn cult, learning to stand steady on shaky legs, you are not sure of your strength, be reassured. The new self you are experiencing will grow strong and powerful soon enough. Let confidence in your new self emerge. Reflect upon how different you are now to a year or even a month ago. Be curious about who you are now. Do not expect the same reactions or experiences you encountered in your past. It is a time of celebration and acknowledgement that a new day, a new you has begun a journey in this physical world. You shall enjoy the divine harvest of all of your growth and effort. This card can also indicate that a child around you, perhaps one about whom you have been thinking deeply is particularly gifted or spiritually oriented. This child may have an important mission this lifetime and need your loving support and spiritual encouragement to thrive into the mission according to his or her own divine timing. 
This card may also be a sign that a new business idea, professional or personal relationship or lifestyle choice is going to support the growth of your spirit in a positive and encouraging way. If this is the case, that new idea or connection will lead to the birth of creative new programs, ideas and structures in your life. On the other hand, if something has been flagging in energy or success, but you are not yet inclined to give it up, this oracle comes as confirmation and encouragement. Rebirth is going to happen. Do not give up. Sometimes it's darkest just before the dawn. Let's say this invocation together, y'all. And it's, I'm going to say it slowly. So all you got to do is just repeat after me. I am a child of the universe. Divinely loved and empowered to grow into a shining radiant soul of love may all aspects of my life journey be blessed to grow into their most beautiful and loving form may all the people and ideas that are in need of protection so they may grow into their divine fullness be blessed and supported by unconditional love through divine grace, so be it. Virgo, you're going through a rebirth. And when I think about yesterday's reading, it says, Virgo, you reached an important milestone. Ending this cycle was difficult, but you did it. I encourage you to watch that, okay? Y'all already know. Our daggone readings every day read out like a whole daggone story, right? This needs to be put. I need to put it in a book. I'm telling you because <laughs> this is crazy. Our life is a whole freaking movie, y'all. But guess what? You are the star, right? <laughs> so let me pull some tarot here real quick because you've learned some things here. It's not going to be the same again. You just, you, un, you literally went, you, how can I put it? There has been this. That's what it is. This reminds me of the death card. It's like the death of the old death of the ego, right? The old order, the old way of thinking, the old world, right? You've learned detachment to release and let go over and over again. We have been learning the art of letting go at the end of every cycle. Remember what I spoke about a week or two ago as we were closing out a cycle It's just simply like we were holding on to it so tightly scared and fearing the letting go aspect of it and i feel like even as i said learning to detach all day long i've been talking to myself and releasing the detach the attachments the unhealthy attachments okay my patterns my habits also you know um to an idea to an outcome i've been literally like Boom, soon as my mind tried to obsessively think about some shit, you know what? No, <laughs> I'm focusing on the wonderful things I believe, I trust, I understand the path that I'm on, I understand this journey, I understand what needs to be done. I will not give any more energy to what does not serve me. You literally have to talk to yourself, y'all. In order to reprogram your thinking, it requires you to do the work. And a lot of times people don't want to do the work. You just want to go ahead and just land right in the blessings. But it doesn't work that way. Make a decision to heal. Like your will got to be so strong, okay, over whatever your ego is telling you to do. Tell me about this old child. You are ready for this next cycle or phase in your life, Virgo. Okay. It's like you a newborn child right now. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Oh. <laughs> That's the next phase, y'all. If it sounds so much like it sounds so much like you reached the Ten of Pentacles. It sounds so much like the training. <laughs> That you have been undergoing. Is it over spirit? <laughs> Is 
is it spiritual training over? There's still some things to do, but for the most part, yes, the hard part is over. There's always going to be adversity is what I'm hearing. But you got everything that you need. So continue to stand your ground. Do not fold on your beliefs, okay? You got your whole angelic guys that are fighting in your corner right now and protecting you. So stay determined, even when there's challenges. Because you can hold your own right now, Virgo. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. The Hermit card comes in the reverse position. So, I feel like you've been honoring your spiritual self. And now you're going into this period where you can literally, boom, <laughs> get back out there, right? You've been feeling lonely. You've probably been feeling isolated. But I'm hearing, yeah, it's no, it's no obstacles at this point. Like, you can continue to move forward here. Yeah, three of cups is in the reverse position. Again, it's like you have been alone. And I feel like you may you may feel like this is forced isolation. Because of the journey, right? Because of what you're doing, elevation requires separation. And a lot of this this, I feel like this whole time you have had, not the whole time, for some of you, probably the whole time. Um, for majority of you, I do feel like it's been periods. You with the person or with people, boom, then you back in hermit mode and you're by yourself. It's like it goes back and forth. But I feel like at this point right now, you're going through some type of, um, I don't want to say separation, but it's like a disconnect. It's like a distance between you and someone. Whether it's emotionally or actually physically. But there's still some type of communication. Whether it's um, 3D or 5D. what I just heard is this relationship was, is standing or will stand the test of time. Page of Cups is in the reverse position. So let me check in on that. Why is this Page of Cups in the reverse? You may have been fearing the worst. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Whatever it is, it's like it's a bunch of disappointment. I do feel that because it's regarding some type of relationship. Yeah. Whether it's a friendship that you have with someone or whether it's actually like an intimate relationship you have with, with someone. Um, I feel like somebody could have had a relationship here with a Queen of Wands reverse, a karmic energy, feminine energy, and it ended. I got the death card beside it. So we got, here we go, Page of Cups, Queen of Wands Reverse, and a Death card, okay? So whether this is you or somebody that's in your energy um, that's connected to you, I do feel like this all had to happen because um, you undergoing a spiritual transformation or this person connected to you had to undergo a spiritual transformation, Someone is, is keeping some keeping something from you, I feel like, around this situation. Tell me about that. What what is being held back from Virgo around this situation? Whoop. Queen of Cups comes out. 
somebody has made this choice because it's like they care about you. But intuitively, you know. Mm -hmm. Here go the Knight of Cups. The Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. It feels like whoever you're connected to, it's like they're over it, okay? It's a masculine energy coming in with the Knight of Cups, all right? Or you could be this Knight of Cups, but however it is, it's like it's like this Knight of Cups is, is over it, okay? Because they're going through certain upheavals here with a Queen of Wands reverse, all right? This is what, this is a part of your spiritual, this person here, what I just heard is, a part of your spiritual lessons so whoever this masculine energy is i'm coming through all right could be divine counterpart for some of you but they're here to teach you lessons and and it's it's likewise they, they have lessons to learn too and because of the simple fact that whatever they're going through with that queen of wands energy um it's causing them to be discon disconnected discontent or something here where they're just over it this is why they haven't really came in, offered anything, or um, or accepted anything from you. And I feel like it's more like they may come in on an energy of text messaging, maybe invite you places here and there, but nothing really heavy, nothing serious. But it's because of whatever the upheavals they are going through here in their situation, okay? And this has been highly triggering for you. But out of this process, again, what I'm hearing is that you have learned how to detach from this. And you had to learn how to let go over and over again um, because of this person. Like every cycle, it seems like you may have been in or been through. You had to let go of some aspect of this connection you have with this person. And that's where the fear comes in that when it comes to the end of the cycle, because it's like, it's like, it's like over and over again, you got to experience that same pain or that same abandonment or that same rejection. So it causes you to fear letting go. But in this particular cycle, you freaking did that. You struggled. Oh yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I understand. I know because I did too. <laughs> but you got through this. It was like your soul was gathering the energy to help you get through this. And I feel like this person here that's connected to you, like they're not telling you they're not telling you, you know how it's like you go through, let me tell you, you go through heartbreak and you don't really tell anybody the experience that you're feeling, okay? Um, with my ex-husband, yep, nine of cups in the reverse, they're disappointed. With my um, ex-husband, I remember he, uh, we would go at it. We were together, y'all, for like 20 years. We was only married maybe like 10 or something like that. But I've known him since high school, like since we were 13. And I remember he was dealing with this girl, this young lady. And that's how I call her that because she was younger for a long time. And I didn't know. Um, I knew that he probably was out there doing certain things because the, the lifestyle that he lived. And we were fairly young. I think we really got together like 18 and had our child at 19 and married by 25. But... um. It's still no excuse, but I remember something happened between them and it was really bad. This is at the point where me and my ex were like, yeah, it was like winding up and coming to an end basically. And something happened between them two that devastated him. And I remember like he was just going through something and then he looked at me that one day, one night or something, and he was like, now I understand what you feel. It's like a pain that they feel deep, like all that they put out, that karma, all of the stuff that they put out, right? It comes back 
to them and then they feel it deeply deep inside they feel what you felt deep inside is what I just heard and what I'm hearing is like <laughs> you never knew this before but now and this is I'm, I'm, I'm channeling I'm channeling divine feminine energy you didn't know you were divine feminine then. You were with a karmic then is what I'm hearing. And you've always mirrored back to people their wounds. Okay. This is why that connection would not stand. I feel like that person tried to um, dim your light. Keep you in a low vibrational pl um, place. They tried to keep you from. And it's like I couldn't even barely talk. It's just almost like. This, the experience was just really just traumatic for you. And this is what they were doing. It was like almost like they could see who you were before you could see who you were. And I'm here to tell you, like, that karmic, they were not, they were operating. How can I put it? The spirits that were using this person. was sent on purpose to, to try to destroy you. They were trying to destroy you, literally, is how I'm hearing it, okay? So, and it, what I just heard, I just heard possessed. This person was possessed. It was possession. It's like this person allowed themselves to be possessed by the enemy. It's like they lived a very dark path, a very dark life. I don't know who this for, but this person lived a very dark life. They probably did a lot of bad things in their life. A lot of bad things, y'all. This person is paying a lot. They're paying back a huge debt. Just let's put it that way, okay? They're paying a huge debt. They've done a lot of bad things. And it was all done based out of greed. It was almost like this person literally sold their soul. And a part of that contract was for them to try to destroy you, to dim your light. So basically, this person that's currently in your energy now, I feel like it's a divine counterpart. And so right now that they're, they're disappointed, they're going to come in. Eight of Wands comes out. So this person is going to communicate some things with you. But they have a lot of healing to do. What is the communication that's going to come in here? Seven of Cups comes out. It's about a decision or a choice. This counterpart in your life is a daydreamer. It's like they, they have been searching for purpose for a very long time, but they've been searching in the wrong places. Let's just put it that way. Like they're, they're illusions. Okay. How, how can I say it? It's like their illusions is what. Help me, my spirit team. They, they, they aren't able to make decisions because they do it based off of the illusions, off of lust, off of factuation. They allow that to guide them. So they end up choosing wrong. They got this. This is the type of person that has a lot of um, options is what I'm hearing. And that's why I'm hearing divine counterpart energy because of something about these divine masculines, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on one second. Sorry, y'all. Tell me about the seven of cups here. Yeah, so they're making a choice here. All right, queen of cups comes out upright. I feel like they're making a choice to really nurture this connection here. Um, I just heard to follow their instincts. Yep. 
nine knight of cups comes out so again this person is they're an idealist most definitely but they're in touch with their emotions when it comes to you and of course they're still in the night energy so i do feel like um if they haven't come in yet they are coming in okay so like things will start picking back up as far as the text messages is what i'm hearing um as far as like them inviting you certain places or doing certain things for you it is this is really like that romantic energy i feel like it's like romance okay that's going to come your way um from this person all right but however here with the seven of wands coming out uh, right i'm seeing here that it's almost like this feeling like they want to protect you protect this connection So they are setting a certain boundary here in a relationship is how I'm seeing it. Whatever it is with that that queen of uh, wands in the reverse. Yeah, they're setting a boundary here with that person. Show me what I need to see here. This is what, again, yeah, the obstacle was, right? They've really been holding on, like, holding on a lot that's why things have been out of balance here between y'all i got the chariot card in the reverse and the four pentacles coming up right with the justice card in the reverse and i feel like because they did what they did and how everything was done here this is something that they also hold on it's like they hold on to the regret So what was the overall lesson? What was Virgo supposed to be learning from this? Eight of Cups. <laughs> learning how to let go because of everything this person was doing, right? Because you were still holding on to an outcome. You were still holding on to um, the situation itself, you know, and even what was done. It's how I'm hearing it. Like, but you, the lesson was letting go. It was in letting go. And what I just heard is like letting go and letting go. <laughs> Trusting your process and really understanding the fact of, and straight facts for real, that this person is in your life. Look, Eight of Cups. This person is in your life literally to teach you spiritual lessons. And that what you're called to do is to keep moving forward. It's almost like you're turning your back on those empty cups. Because it, 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 it definitely, they're not serving you. But I really feel like it has a lot to do with patterns. Not necessarily the person itself. Those habits, those um, mindsets, old belief systems, things like that, right? Everything is spoke about here with the soul child card. Death of the old order. Can you give us a little glimpse of what this next cycle will look like? Ten of wands in the reverse. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. It feels extremely hot, y'all. Where you were burdened by this circumstance here with this person. I I'm got I have three of Pentacles, right? The strength card 
And then the Three of Pentacles again. You now have more confidence in this connection. You'll now have more confidence in this connection, in this new cycle. Like, I feel like it's more about what your belief systems, that belief, like you're going to have that confidence in not just this, this connection, like this person is what I'm seeing. It's like, it's more the fact about what it is that you are trying to manifest your dreams, right? With that 10 of pentacles that came out, I don't see it, but, um, that's what I feel like it is. It's like, you now are going to have more confidence in the fact that a matter that this person is here to, to walk with you, to share these goals with you, where before you didn't, you didn't have that confidence. You thought you were missing out on the opportunity, or you may have thought that, um, everything that you were doing was going unrewarded. This is like infinite is how I'm hearing it. Infinite. Like, yeah, this love between y'all two. That's why I said it got to be. The, this is divine counterparts off the back. You guys are birthing something new. Something new is being born. And the enemy tried to stop you. Why? <laughs> because what you guys are going to birth and bring into this new world and what I just heard is new world order. I don't know what that. I got the devil here, right? The fool card and the six of wands. It's like the ego or the devil energy or look, Satan, <laughs> however you believe. Literally was trying to stop this process from happening by doing what creating adversity upheavals challenges some were devised of course um were divinely ordered but i definitely feel like because of ego it started to make all of these challenges seem more like they were blocks started to make it seem like the person that you are supposed that you know is your divine counterpart was negligent, stupid, holding back, creating all of these illusions so that you guys would not get to the six of wands, your victory. What is my collective birthday? A new you. Eight of Cups. Nine of Swords Reverse comes out. By you walking away from the disappointment, your abandonment issues, like actually doing it instead of being compelled to do it. You actually like doing it. This is what's leading you here to your nine of cups. Here with this knight of swords energy coming out in the reverse. I feel like that's you walking away from um, your counterpart. Because that's what it took, right? In order for you to succeed, it requires you to go towards your goals, right? But in you doing that, and that's why I said this is a divine counterpart. This is what's helping you get to that stability, that security, and also helping your divine counterpart to level the fuck up, y'all. This is serious. They are you. And I feel like you're starting to understand that. You're understanding that they are you. And what you do for you in turn this person does for themselves. So the more and more you stay vibrationally low and you fail to learn the lessons, boom, so does your counterpart. You're starting to understand. Okay. The nature of your of this walk, of this journey that you're on. That this is about you. And your newly integrated self. Becoming a person who is whole, no longer broken.
Just keep speaking life into yourself is what I just heard, okay? Keep speaking life. You are a child of the divine. You are divinely loved and empowered to grow and to keep shining. So some of you still need to revisit your past, present, and future energies, okay? Examine that, right? How are you feeling? What's your vibration looking like? Because what do you want truly moving forward? Because remember, again, look, pay attention to the number synchronicities. 1003 on my timer. 4044 also top, popped up on my timer. Sorry, 1003 on my clock. 333 on the card. You got ascending masters that are with you. What do you want moving forward? Okay, because the universe is going to co-create exactly what it is that you want for yourself. What do you believe in? What's your dreams? Stand your ground on that. Visions in your third eye are coming in the form of te um, telepathic waves from your twin flame, okay? The intensity of your connection may start fearing someone and it creates a runner chaser dynamic, right? This connection is so freaking intense, you guys. Don't run. And when I say don't run, it's not not running from the person. It's not. It's you not running from that part of yourself that is triggered by this person. Face it. So you and your twin flame are mirroring each other's thoughts at this present time, right? So whatever you're projecting or mirroring to them, they're mirroring it back to you. So if it's love, boom, you get it. They're going to mirror love back to you. If it's disappointment, boom. <laughs> Step into your inner child as a way of addressing any old wounds and restoring a sense of wonderment, okay? Learn to provide your own happiness rather than relying on your person to fulfill you. Okay, so this is what it's about. Karmic cycles are now coming to a close. Allow all parties to absorb the necessary lessons for growth. I can guarantee you, you may have been energetically wiped out. Your person is too. Okay, they're tired. This cycle has whipped everybody's ass. <laughs> Literally, we've been getting our ass beat, you know, but God is good. <laughs> God is good. It's worth it, right? It's worth those 10 pinnacles. <laughs> but however, yeah, this is a time of pause is what I'm hearing. So you can absorb what you need to absorb in this. Learn what you need to learn here. Reflect, rejuvenate so that you can get ready for this new phase. So let me leave you guys with a message of love from the power of love. And then I'll close out. Past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. The past is done and the future is yet to be. All you have is the now and the past is your greatest teacher. Everything that has happened up until this moment is the product of the person you see in the mirror. That is why the power of noun is so important. Only in the present do you have the opportunity to create both your past and your future. Always be mindful of your present moment thoughts because in seconds, now will be your past, which you cannot get back. You don't want the past to steal your future and the bridge between the two is the present. Begin to live in present time and always remember that through loving, compassionate thoughts and actions, you are creating a past that you can be proud of. 
and the bright future that awaits you. So remember, stay present in this new cycle, okay? Don't go back revisiting the past. That's done for. The worst is behind you. Karma waters are ahead of you, okay? You already understand the process. So stay positive and stay encouraged the best way that you can. Continue to ground yourself here, okay? Dig deep inside, y'all, all right? But this is your rebirth and it's upon you. And just remember that you have a great purpose here on this earth. So shine your light, okay? Continue to keep going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and don't stop. No matter who challenges you, no matter how you may feel, okay? Do it. You do not know or understand who you are helping, just your presence alone, all right, shines brightly on people. Just as much as you mirror back their wounds, you're also helping them to heal. So remember that, okay? All right, you guys, I love you. Peace.